we've been on you know quite a journey um, with this project, and we are you know, excited that uh, we are uh, entering a new phase. On Thursday, executives from Urban One and Churchill Downs revealed the new plan, a $562 million resort, casino, and entertainment complex called the Richmond Grand Resort and Casino, a project they say will be different than the one Richmonders voted down in 2021. Everybody learned uh, a, a, a lot about uh, intentionality, transparency, and listening, and this is a new project on all levels except for the location. Project developers anticipate the project to bring 1,300 jobs, 30 million in annual tax revenue, a 55-acre park, and an entertainment venue. Officials say this project will not use public funds, tax breaks, incentives, or grants. Richmond deserve the chance to vote on this project. They deserve the chance, a chance to see the feedback that's gone into this investment to improve, um, to improve the offering. Back in July, Richmonders who spoke out against the casino being added back on the ballot questioned promoters' motivations and were concerned about transparency with allocation of revenue. City Council it doesn't seem to be paying attention to its constituents in terms of what we expressed as our, our, our desire not to have a casino in Richmond. A casino in Richmond puts the onus for saving Richmond, for digging Richmond out of its financial ditch on the backs of the people who can least well afford it. Developers ask people to give the project a chance and look into the changes they incorporated from the feedback from the community. The city itself is also, you know, um, in a different, you know, place and, you know, will ultimately be more intentional, you know, about the uses of the funds and you'll probably hear more about that. Richmonders will be able to vote on the referendum as early as September 22nd when early voting starts and we've been covering this story for several years now and you can read more about the history at our website at WTVR.com. In Richmond, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.